We're gonna check down this old logging road. Today, I'm in the area, haven't checked this part of the Star of the West property. Nice sunny day, it's 11 degrees Celsius. Still got some snow, but a lot of the area is clear. So, let's go for a walk. Couple interesting hunks of rock here. Quartz with a little bit of calcopyrite disseminated. You got a nice chunk here of very rustified rock. Looks like there's a bit of uh, pyrite and calcopyrite in that. Interesting little float sample. So I found a hunk of rock from a quartz vein on the side of the road here. This is historically what they were after. If you read the old documentation, calcopyrite with quartz disseminated. You got your green malachite staining. Not 20 meters away from that last sample. Find another one, Epidote, with quartz and calcopyrite. Lots of samples on this road. It's all float, but this is the rock type that matches the area. This is also similar quartz veining that you see all over this property and we know it's not transported far so we have semi-massive calcopyrite and you know what they say if it's brown bag it So we're going to take some of these float rocks with us. We're just below the road now. The road only goes for a few hundred meters. And uh, when they logged, they left this random patch of trees here. So we're just searching in here, seeing if there's any outcrop exposed or anything. Search this whole little treed area here. Didn't find a whole lot of anything other than loads of quartz float. Very buggy. Looks like it could have had some sulfides in it at one time. Finding it all over the place here. So we got about a 45 degree incline we're going up right now. So we got some outcrop here, the snow clears a little bit, so take a look here. Ultimately we're hoping to come out on an upper road there. And do you see what we just spotted? Some malachite staining there. There's lots of quartz running through here too. Very interesting. Let's pull a sample from here. This is the grades we're dealing with. As you can see, we've taken some chips across here. A couple grabs down here. Another sample up there. It looks like you got scarn, which is very sporadic. And uh, I can't tell the strike of this very well, but 
you got part of a lens down here, something going on here, something going on up there, something going on right here, and a lot of these float rocks that have fallen away from the outcrop have some mineralization. So these are some of the ones we took from the actual outcrop. You can see the malachite staining on a lot of these. Some magnetite in some of these. Calcopyrite mostly. That black in there is magnetite. This golden color mineral is calcopyrite. I don't see too much of any other mineral that's visible. So those are the samples. We're going to keep trucking along now. There's a lot more outcrop up above. We're almost at the upper road now. A few meters away. A lot more snow up here. So what we're going to do is walk down the road. There's a couple showings. We are on an Outlook Road. Upper logging road. Got to walk down this about a kilometer, zigzags down. But along the side here, there's a couple showings I'll point out when we reach them. Before we show you some of the showings we've already found, take a look at this area here. Massive sulfides. Let's hammer some samples. Take a look at what we have here. We're going to hammer out some more chunks off this. We've already pulled some off right here. As you can see, massive sulfides. There's definitely some magnetite, pyrite, and calcopyrite in this. Quartz and stuff in there too. Let's see what else we can get off here. Pulling up a big hunk of this here. Take a look at this massive hunk of mineralization. Looks like a 10 centimeter wide solid lens here. Lots of magnetite, pyrite, some calcopyrite. Let's hammer that in half. A 
beautiful samples. A couple more samples that we're gonna bag here from the showing before we go. As you go down, the lens gets a little bit wider. So not too far away from this showing is actually one we found a little while ago about 25 meters you can see along here this lens contains massive calcopyrite and pyrite goes down underneath the road here's some leftover samples lots of oxidation but you can see some of the mineralization it's massive and then again we were pretty close to an area we did a backpack drill hole in and this is just on the edge of the core six min file showing around the corner here and then this creek along here is a creek that has quite a few old mine edits where they took out uh, some tonnage for the gold and silver and copper values. So eventually we're gonna walk this creek from the top going down. We've already gone from the bottom halfway up leading up to the core six windfall showing area. You have more sporadic mineralization on the wall here. We've pulled some nice samples out of here. It's very sporadic here small little lenses and this is the area we popped a small test backpack drill hole in just around this corner in this outcrop here You have a one meter wide lens that we intercepted with the backpack drill at the top. And underneath there, there's another lens. And uh, that is about 20 to 25 centimeters thick of massive sulfides with galena, calcopyrite, some magnetite, and pyrite. around the corner even farther you have more sporadic small little lenses here with more mineralization And then right here, you have a quartz vein, which widens as it goes down to about 50 centimeters. There's disseminated mineralization, calcopyrite mostly, and then you have another large 50 centimeter wide quartz vein here. 
This one has a lesser amount of mineralization. And that's pretty much it, other than a small little showing down on the side. Small five centimeter wide lens with semi-massive calcopyrite. So that's it, that's the trip. We are done for the day. Have a good one, we'll see you guys in the next video.